Next we are asked to determine how thick the wall of the cylinder has to be for the cylinder's roll time to measurably be faster than the roll time of a theoretical infinitely thin cylindrical shell. So what we're going to do is compare its roll time and then solve for the thickness. So this is the roll time of a thick-walled cylinder. We're going to compare it to the thin-walled cylinder where r i, inner radius, is just the same as the outer radius. We're just going to replace the r inner with r outer. So this ratio becomes 1. Square it, that's still 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So this will be the ratio of times. So we're going to find out what the ratio of radii has to be for the ratio of times to be something we notice. To solve for the ratio of thicknesses, we multiply both sides by 4 and subtract 3 from both sides to get the square of the radius ratio is 4 times the time ratio minus 3. So let's say that we want to find out how thick the cylinder has to be for it to roll down the hill 5% faster. So that would mean that t over t naught is 95%. So to solve this for our inner over our outer squared, we get 4 times the square of 95% minus 3. That gives us 0.61. So the radius ratio must be the square root of that. And the square root of 0.61 is 0.78. So the thickness has to be 22% of the radius for the thing to go 5% faster down the hill.